No, don't, don't engage with it. Stop. Stop. I'm not disrupting. Don't do it. I'm not doing anything wrong. 7 News was there, capturing it all as emotions over the future of U.S. 36 boiled over. That was one year ago. Motorists upset over CDOT's public-private partnership to fund highway expansion. Now, that work is now underway, and now CDOT is trying to decide what to charge you to drive the toll lanes. Mark Stewart is live along Highway 36, and Mark, you found out it won't be cheap. All right, and let's talk pricing. Depending on when you get onto US 36, and if you have a prepaid pass, you could pay up to $13 one way. Some taxpayers see this as a big ripoff, yet the state feels this is truly a necessity. You're stuck for a while occasionally. The trip from Denver to Boulder is part of Sylvina Coria's daily drive. Uh, depending on the time that you're passing, occasionally it can get bumper to bumper. Yet she's not sold on the plan to charge drivers who use the express lane. Round trip tolls start at nearly $15, soaring up to more than $26, depending if you have a prepaid pass. And I mean, we have to think of everybody as a whole, not just those that can afford it. There's no, hey, Ken, stop, Ken. One by one upset taxpayers were pulled out of a meeting last year as the state was debating whether to partner up with a private company to fund the project. Debuting this summer, the new express lanes are part of a plan to keep traffic moving as the metro area expands. Despite critics, CDOT insists the new system is accessible to everyone, no matter how much money you make. CDOT knows that we can't build our way out of congestion. And so by adding choices to people to carpool, take the bus, or to pay a toll. We're giving more people options to get to the places they need to go. Tomorrow, the public will have its say in all of this as TDOT, uh, CDOT that is, uh, considers these rates. A meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. at CDOT headquarters. There had been some outcry from people that it wasn't being held at a convenient location near Boulder or near Pecos, the entranceway here. Uh, CDOT says that this meeting was set a while ago. They are sticking to that plan. We're live in Denver tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.